Hey everyone, and welcome back to the galaxy. Today, we will be learning how the polar coordinates filter can be used to create this awesome 360 degree panorama effect. I'm starting with an image of a horizon with buildings and a background layer whose color will match the sky of the photo. You can find this color by selecting the eyedropper tool, making the image layer active by clicking on it, and selecting the sky color. Then make the background layer active and drag the foreground color onto it. You can use any type of image you want, but horizontal photos often create the best results, especially if there are protruding objects, like buildings. Scale your image to fit within your project, or right-click your image layer, and select Layer to Image Size. This makes sure that our effect is created at an appropriate size for our project. After making my image layer active, first right-click the layer and select Add Alpha Channel. This will be grayed out if your image layer already has an alpha channel, which just means transparency. Now we will go up to Filters, Distorts, down to Polar Coordinates. Immediately the effect will be created but we can edit some options to make the buildings display on the outside. Unchecking Map from Top will reverse the sides, making the buildings reach out from the center. You can also experiment with changing the rotation by editing this offset angle slider. You can even reduce the curvature of this effect with the Circle Depth in Percent slider. Once we are happy with the effect, we can click OK. This effect has created some harsh lines, but we can use the Smudge tool to blend parts of this effect to be more realistic. I will really be focusing on the clouds and this hard line where two ends of the sky meet. Using the Smudge tool, I can grab color from the clouds and emulate their wisps. I can also reduce the harshness of this middle line where the skies meet. Finally, we can blend this effect into the background, again using the smudge tool with a slightly medium-sized brush. I can smudge the edges to really blend the effect into the background. And that's it. You now know how to apply the polar coordinates effect to any of your projects. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, consider subscribing for more awesome content. Let us know if you found this tutorial helpful by liking this video and leaving us a comment. Thanks for watching.